Alright, I thought I'd get it all in the one video, but I guess it's going to be two videos. Alright, so the next look, like I was saying, put your hair into a regular ponytail again. So, get the roller hair. This. You do it like you said you do it. Just put it through, flip it, put it through. This time we're going to do it a third time, or depending on how thick your hair is, you might have to do it more often. Like this. And then when you pull your hair through, you only pull it through halfway. And you end up with like a little, this little hair thing right here. And then you can kind of leave it like this. This is probably what I'm going to say is the most likely to be work appropriate and you, you're probably not going to... And I think probably also the most masculine looking that you're going to get your hair to look when you have it up. Um, if you have straight hair, you can probably pull this look off a little bit better than I can because again like I have curls and these little curls that stick out on the bottom again tend to make it look a little bit more effeminate than I would like. So what I usually do if you're a guy who also has curly hair is I do one of two things. Either I take this curly hair part and I flip it around and then I tuck it in so it goes like this or I take the curly part and I do like another little twist on it like this and stuff it into the elastic where I just pulled my hair through and it kind of creates like a little mini bun underneath the bigger bun um, again probably a little bit more effeminate looking than if I was able to let it hang out but again with my hair being curly um, I don't think that's a look that looks all that good on me um, so that, I would say that's one of the ones I would recommend for a business or maybe if you're going to like a funeral or a wedding and you need to figure out a way to have your hair look um, appropriate if you're going to be wearing a suit or something because wearing your hair open if your hair is really long um, as a guy is probably not going to look appropriate in those situations. And the other thing that I think you can, that you can do um, for work, and this is probably more likely if you do have curly hair like myself, this is what you can do, is you can do put it in a bun. So again, for a bun, what you do, like I said, everything we're doing today, you're going to always start off with a basic ponytail. So you put there in ponytail, like this, like this, and this time you're just going to leave it like this, and then you're going to get a second elastic. And then you're going to take your hair like this, and then you're going to twist it. Twist, 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 twist. Alright, and once it's twisted like this, you basically just twist it around itself. So it looks like that. And then you take the second elastic, and you just pull it over the whole thing. You just pull it over the whole thing, like two or three times. Flip the elastic around. Pull it over. And then you got a little bit of a bun. Which I think is another alternative. Um, and again, I think a lot of guys, they're not going to feel comfortable doing this. Um, a lot of the hairstyles, even in having long hair as a guy, period, isn't going to come down to how comfortable you are with your own masculinity. Like, if you guys go through my videos, you're going to see that I have done it all. I have done cornrows and, like twists and regular braids and French braids and Dutch braids and I don't know whatever you whatever you can think of I've tried it because I don't have hang-ups with stuff like that but I think most guys are probably not gonna have that same comfort level but if you do then I think yeah a bun might be the other alternative that you can do um, for a business thing um, I'm gonna show you guys one last style that I think like most men can pull off without it affect, you know, and still, and it still looks fairly appropriate and masculine or whatever you want to call it. And it's very easy to do, and it's probably the style that I wear the most because I find it the most comfortable. So for this one, what you do is you flip your head down. Mm -hmm. This style is called a top knot. And you basically bring all your hair together. Same thing as if you were doing a ponytail. But this time what you do is you gather all your hair on the top of your head. 
like this. And then you take the elastic. Again, you pull your hair through. And you pull your hair through. And you start off with basically having like a ponytail on top of your head. And then you twist your hair again. Usually I do all of this with my head down, but I can't really do that on the video. But, and then you do the same thing as you did. You add a bun. Boop. Flip it all around. And then you basically have like a little bun on the top of your head. This is probably the style that I personally like the best. Um, and for me again, because I have curly hair, like a lot of times I still have to put like a little bit of like product right down here to kind of pin down all these crazy curls I have here or here. Um, but yeah, so those are like the four really basic ways that I think that you guys could wear your hair. Um, if you guys do want to go through all my other videos really quick, if you see a style that I'm wearing that you like, um, feel free to ask me and I'll tell you guys how to do that or where you can go to get it done. Um, uh, so, oh, other, so the other thing I'm going to talk about really quick is um, some of the myths that are out there. So, okay, so number one, you don't have to wash your hair every day. Personally, I only wash my hair once a week. Um, again, that's, I have barely really dry hair, which is part of the reason I don't wash it very often. If you have oily hair, then you probably could wash it like two or three times a week, but you really shouldn't wash it more often than that. And the reason, and like I'm showing you guys like why I started the first video off in pigtails, is this is kind of a th something I learned by myself. Again, I didn't have anybody as a reference for this. Because um, my hair is naturally really curly, like now it's kind of got a wave in it because of the fact that my hair was in pigtails. But m this wave is a lot better than um, my natural curl. Because naturally my hair looks like, I look like Shirley Temple. Like I got these little... So what would happen is if I wash my hair and then I would go to bed, and the next morning I'd wake up with like these, this crazy knotted Shirley Temple curly hair thing going on my head. And, I'd have to spend the whole next day basically just combing out my hair. So what I found will be easier is to just put my hair in braids and then sleep in them that way. Um, so that's what I do personally. If you have straight hair, this is something that maybe doesn't, doesn't matter to you or you don't have to do. But if you have curly hair, I definitely recommend it. I mean, you don't have to put your hair in pigtails. You can always just, you know, again, put it in a ponytail and then just braid down one braid. And, or if you're really good at it, you can probably start at the very top and put in a braid. Um, so yeah, you don't have to wash your hair as much as they try to say. The other thing is trimming your hair. You know, like, hairstylists will try to tell you that you have to trim your, trim your hair every, like, four to six weeks. That is the biggest bunch of BS in the world. Like, hey, let's, let's think about it from a logical perspective. Why? why? Why would you have to do that? They're always like, oh, if you trim your hair, your hair grows faster. How does that even make sense? Your hair is dead protein. It is dead protein. The, the tips do not communicate with your root. It's dead. It is dead hair. You're like cutting off an inch of your tip is not going to send up on the, like some kind of message to your root going, oh, they cut off an inch. I better grow two inches. It makes no sense. So don't listen to that. I cut my hair only one time in three years. It is completely healthy. Actually, that's one of the things I take a lot of pride in is I have very healthy hair. I have no split ends. So you do not, if you're trying to grow your hair out, do not get trims every six weeks because it will take forever for your hair to grow out. Um, I mean, obviously, if you have split ends or damaged hair, then yeah, you probably want to get it cut off before it goes and ruins that rest of your hair. But other than that, you do not have to do it. Do not, do not, do not. Um, so, yeah, all right. And since it turned into two videos, I do have time to do a quick product review. Um, so the things that I personally recommend um, that you guys maybe invest into is first of all let me say that I'm kind of a tree hugger so I like using pl products that are kind of organic based so and as much as I prefer organic based stuff I'm going to tell you guys right now it usually does not work as well probably as like the chemical crap that you get but one of the things besides the fact that I don't like the chemical